just felt like the like the actors, like the voice actors were, especially for like Leon, I expected more sassiness from him. But he sounded kind of like a, just a little bit robotic. I still thought it was a pretty good match. He just sounded a little bit robotic. But yeah, it was a really good game. I like it. I like it. I hate it though that they missed out on Ada's, Ada's separate ways. I was like, I was literally so excited to finish RE4, and then it literally didn't have Ada's separate ways, and I'm like. Ada separate ways she's supposed to pair I thought it was gonna come together but I guess not I really hope they don't make people buy it with the game I hope it just like automatically comes with it or like you have the ability to update it and then you get Ada separate ways but who knows how the game developers are going to do it I just hope that it's like that um, because the original was like that the game felt so fast, like, new things to it, and it was cool to see how different it was, but I do miss, like, I don't know, I do miss, uh, what is it, some of the scenes from the original RE4, but it's still good, I know a lot of people overall give it, like, a really high rating, and I still really like it, I think I'm just such a big fan that I wish it was exactly the same, because I never saw anything wrong with the original. That's just my personal opinion. I know a lot of people are like, the original RE4 was very, very repetitive. And this one, like, I guess wasn't as much. I wish I would have taken more time to, um, like, play through the remastered one. And that I didn't go through it as fast. But it is what it is, I guess. I tried.
about my family, like how will they feel? Soul number two says, don't worry. Your kids will remember you as like a hero and then your wife, whatever, would be happy that you died. Or like, she'll feel bad that she feels glad that you passed away. And then he's like, oh, okay. And he's like, so what happens now? And then he just explains to him that every person that he's ever passed by, everybody here is just another version of him trying to grow as like another human being. I don't know. I'm not explaining it right. But I swear it sounds better when they explain it because they're the actual storytellers. But it was like, I was like watching that and I was like, oh my god. Like this will really good story. I like it. So, yeah, I don't know why I started going on a tangent about that. But yeah. Also, I'm a pretty big fan of snakes now. I touched a snake for the first time. Um, I touched a snake for the first time. Last week, no, well like, what do you call the week, but like it was yesterday, cause not yesterday, but like a couple of days ago, but of this week, technically is it this week, that sounds present though, I don't know my grammar, but I touched a snake, I touched a python, it was an albino, or albany, albino, yeah albino, uh, python snake, she was the cutest thing at first I was really scared because I'm like oh my gosh she's gonna freaking eat me but no she was like curled up in my hand and she was just slithering along it feels so weird so weird the way a snake holds you I was freaking the heck out I was like oh my god this is the strangest thing and yeah I was like freaking the freak out and I'm like what it was literally curling all over me it was coiling around in my hand and like my whole arm and everything and she was so cute i literally was like i'm in love with you i i want you right now i want you right now but i live in the dorms but it's okay i just i got to hold her and she was the cutest thing ever now i know why people are in love with snakes i literally love her so much like i i really want a snake 